First fish. The dragon snail. <laughs>
Kel says that um, years ago they came up here and found some Indian, Indian pottery, so I wanted to make sure that, that he's telling the truth. So here we go. We're going to go in and see what we can do. Hey, where's Indian from a, where's the Indian pottery? It looks like bat guana right there. Look at any bats. What a view of the river. Okay, what we did find is a little piece of corn. Corn cob. A little corn cob right up here. Part. Now we, Kel's telling me that the Indians are the ones who brought it up here. What else do you find? Here's a piece of pottery. That's pottery. Kind of get the slight oval, different surfaces. Mm -hmm. See? Okay, there is some pottery here. Look at that. Told you the big shards. Big shard of pottery right there. Indian made. Wow. No, I think that's what we found. In Here's a couple pieces of interesting pottery. This one looks like it was maybe a knife they could have used as a knife or a scraping tool. It's not, you know, native to this cave, so they brought somebody brought it up here. And then this piece of pottery has some little indentations in it, which is kind of cool. Looks like another cutting stone or something, or scraping mm -hmm. stone right here, and over here is some pottery. Some more pottery. This is in the little cave next door. Huh. See how all that loose stuff you could. Just to it. So I was just kind of digging around. I turned this piece of pottery over here. Look what I found. Isn't that cool? Hi, right, we're back at Don's Pottery Barn. <laughs> no, we're not. We're still in the mountain. Oh. See, there's Kel. And there's the Verde couple, River. A couple lesser pieces. <laughs> Got the inchworm. <laughs> oh, he's going. He's funny. Just came through a bamboo slot, gauntlet, and ended up with the inchworm. He's on my hat. He's funny. Spent the night last night at our third camp. I love this big bluff. Actually, there's an eagle nest up there. years ago it stood, it had canned goods and some cots, a uh, full enclosed shelter with roof and door and a, a sign indicating if you needed to take shelter, if you're in a bad way, do so and then if you could leave some in the future, do so. And then a year later it was uh, burnt down and now we're left with just the slab. This is where we've come from. We're going to take that river and we're going to go down that way. Here's the facilities here at uh, Red Creek. Flush handle and all. This is our fourth campsite.
What happened? Where's the hot springs? Kel, where's the water? Well, here we have the hot springs. <laughs> and the water's been diverted about 15 feet down, a big 10 foot galvanized uh, cattle tank. Uh huh. <laughs> Try to find it down here. Uh, there's a tank down there. But. Full of bamboo. This is new this year. We're filming. We're on the last day. We're on the last day of the trip, right? Last day. We're down in the lake here. We got some rapids coming up. A little. Well, we better. North end of the Horseshoe Lake Basin. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. We just went through a mess back there. Got these little white things all over us. Yeah. Whew. All right, well, here we are. We're just finished up. We pulled the canoe out of the lake. That's where we came from down there. Half an hour before our pickup time. Good timing, right? huh? About a mile back, we came across a mother javelina, a huge thing, and her two little babies right on the bank within 10 feet. Incredible wildlife. Bye.